Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Do We Know Them, episode 49. We're moving along quickly, ladies. Almost to 50. People are like, wow, you guys are actually doing this two times a week thing. Proud of you. I which know. I appreciate. I think people are really surprised. I, we've gotten so many nice comments that are like, I really appreciate the effort you guys are putting in. I know this is a lot of extra work. And I'm like, yeah, it is. Thank you. <laughs> but it's also like our job. So no worries. We love to do it. it. We're happy to do it. Honestly, I really do like the two episodes a week thing, though, because I feel like we I mean, I haven't felt too much like we're just fishing for topics today a little bit. We we're like, what do we talk about? But I also Speak feel like yourself. there's so much happening. <laughs> Lily's very excited about this topic today because um, guys... We're going back to Britney. Okay, I wanted to revisit this for a while, but it has been, I mean, there's still complete conspiracy theories and I'm still very unsure of how I actually feel, but I'm much more skeptical of everything going on now than I was last time. Like last time, I feel like we were just kind of making fun of all the conspiracy theorists and now I'm kind of like, well, I mean, you guys might be onto something. I'm a very, very, very big skeptic when it comes to conspiracy theories by nature because a lot of things that are like conspiracy theories, I just find them like, kind of dumb. The problem with conspiracy theories is that people will connect dots that yeah, there might be a connection, but that connection doesn't serve as like actual proof or evidence of anything. It's just like curious, but like there's never anything more. So it's just, they're all based on assumptions. Yeah, I think a lot of the problems I have with conspiracy theories is like motive or logic behind it where it's like, okay, well, why though? Because it's like, and what's that, the honestly, point? So, <laughs> oh wait, before we get into it though, we have something very important to address. It's not really, no, we don't. It's li li okay. Lily never knows what, what I'm gonna say. <laughs> What is it? It's not uh, anything bad this time, guys. We don't have to address any mistake we made in our last yeah, episode. Yeah, I was like, can we get canceled again? <laughs> no, we didn't. We did it. Thank God. No, but we did get mentioned by friend of the show, Olivia, on the H3 podcast. And that was super slay. And Lily told me and I almost shot me pantaloons. I loved it. <laughs> yeah, one of you guys tweeted me and I was like, oh, love Olivia. She's a little angel. Roll it. So this one, so I don't know anything about this one, but it sounds pretty, pretty I interesting. I think this is crazy. I don't know I, anything about this one either, yeah, so I I'm hadn't excited. Heard literally anyone talking about it. I saw mm. Jesse and Lily were talking about it on Do We Know Them? That was it. That's all I saw. Okay. So there's a YouTube... Well, you explain it, right? So I'll right, just go through well, it. No, I'll tell you. I'll take you through the story. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so... Well, you know, it's not like Ethan acknowledged it at all. <laughs> she mentioned us. Literally, it cut to him and Ela, and they're all just like, okay? Jesse and Lily were talking about it on Do We Know Them? That was it. Okay. Yeah, he couldn't care less, but you know what? Super slay regardless. And what I couldn't believe is I'm like, wait a second. So you're saying, do we know them broke the story? Like, hold on, because since when are we first to the party, bitch? We're I always know, last. Literally, I'm like, well, thank you, TikTok. Because that wasn't even like we had like inside info. It was like, no, we just came across that and it was very odd. Two times a week got us really digging deep. Ooh, <laughs> that rhymed. Love that. Okay, oh, back to Brittany. <laughs> okay, yeah, back to Brittany. So um, honestly, the reason I've kind of been hesitant to believe Believe anything going on is because of what you just mentioned like what's the motive like people are like oh because then they can make money off her but it's like they can make money off her even if assuming one of the conspiracies I think is that sh I don't even know what they all are I don't think the people even touting them really know what they are but that if god forbid that she has passed away or something that they're using like deep fakes to then just like keep up the illusion that she's fine is this weekend at Bernie's like I'm very confused like well and my thing there is like well, I mean, I think they could still make money off of her, like, estate. Because everyone's saying it's like that Black Mirror episode with Miley Cyrus, where they, like, basically have her sedated and have fake versions of her singing songs. But yeah, so it's been very odd. The biggest thing is people pointing out, like, glitches, quote-unquote, in her many weird... I mean, her social media content is odd to begin with because it's her weird dancing, which some are like, okay, well, you guys, she just got out of a conservatorship and hasn't really been on her own in forever, and she has potential mental health health issues, leave her alone. She's just like exploring social media. To which I totally am like, yeah, absolutely. I don't really have a problem with Britney posting weird dancing videos. Also like pretty much nude videos as well on Instagram, which I've been- Those are the ones know. that are a little alarming, but I guess that does play into the mental health factor. So it's like, okay, yeah, maybe. But just recently, there has been one of her dancing videos that even Jesse saw and was like, 
Well, I saw it and this has happened a few times where I'll see something on my For You page. It'll be Britney glitching out. So it'll be like all of a sudden it's someone else's face comes in and then it's back to her face. But I've seen a few of those debunked. So when I saw this one, I was like, oh, it's just another one that's fake. So I had seen it a few times from different people. And then I clicked this one specifically. And this is the one I sent to Jesse because the lady doing it, I was just cracking up. So I felt like I would show you the one that included her. I need somebody who's not a conspiracy theorist theorist to help me out. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist. But this video is freaking me out. So you see her hands go above her face once. Watch when they come back down. That's insane. But this is a blue-eyed person that? with a filter of Britney. Somebody else posted that. So me being the skeptic that I am, I went back and saved that same video of Britney's directly from her TikTok page and I slowed it down myself. It's freaking legit. This has got me tore all to pieces. Can somebody please make this make sense? I don't wanna be a conspiracy theorist. And I'm not hating on those of you who are. I'm just trying to sleep at night. Wait, what? so what did people say to that? Were they answering like, uh, like did they tell her that it was real? Like, cause she asked for advice. So did anyone provide any logic? Top comment is it's not a conspiracy. Something is going on with Britney for sure. <laughs> People don't understand the con the definitions I think of conspiracy and conspiracy theory. When it's a theory, it's things that like haven't been proven and people are like <laughs> speculating. If it's actually a conspiracy, that means that it's actually, like a conspiracy is people colluding to do something nefarious usually. So this person says it's not a conspiracy, but they mean it is. This is such a random thing to point out, but someone put, I always felt it was a little off that she never has her makeup done properly. Like it's always morning after makeup. At some point it should be fresh. It's those kind of comments that I'm like, I mean, Britney has always been a little rough around the edges. Oh my God, do you remember um, that video that leaked with uh, Kevin Federline? I vividly remember she was eating something out of a takeout box and she had her hair like up in a bun and they were kind of fighting or like talking or whatever. And that video like leaked, it was huge at the time, like many years ago. And she looked just like this. I feel like I know what you're talking about. Is it the one where they're talking about a movie? And she's like, huh? It's not like an interview. It's like a home video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're in a trailer. It's like him asking if she had seen a movie or something or telling her if so. she had seen a movie. She was drunk or something. And so her going, huh? Listen. Uh huh. You want to see the movie? Let's go see it. Well, what? when is it going to be playing? Oh, no. When did Spun come out? I want to see that. We'll have to go buy it on DVD. It might even be on the bus. Huh? It might have been on the bus. Huh? Really? Yeah. You're lying. I'm not lying. It was really on the bus? I said it might have been on the bus. I don't know. That's like a new movie and stuff. But she looked the same as she does now is what I'm trying to say. She had like morning after makeup. Like Britney's always been like that. So this was the thing that got us back, I guess, on this subject. Although I have to say that my TikTok has not stopped showing me all the conspiracies <laughs> since we first covered it. The interesting thing I found was I'm like, where to start? There's two parts to this. First, the thing that has really, I think, taken over my For You page the most about Britney, besides the glitches here and there, are people saying something is weird with the wedding. Her wedding to Sam is his name? Correct. Sam Asgari. That guy's always given me the heebie-jeebies. I don't like his essence. Actually, and that's a good way, and we'll start with that. Apparently, Julia <laughs> Fox feels the same way. Oh, slay, like, okay. There is something so incredibly off about Britney's husband. Watch this clip of his interview with GQ magazine. He suggests that Britney live below the poverty line. Even though he's marrying a multimillionaire, Sam Asgari says he's not a house husband. Uh-uh. He told GQ magazine that he and Britney Spears do not have a joint account. And if it were up to him, they'd be living on a serious budget. Sam says she has an ex she has expensive taste, but I do try to incorporate my lifestyle to her as well. And if it was up to me, we would cut down on the traveling and stay at a much cheaper hotel. And we would probably live off of sixty dollars a day. When in reality, he's the How one modest. who <laughs> is walking around with a Rolex on each wrist and driving fancy cars, while Brittany is nowhere to be seen and has been recycling the same Shein outfits over and over and over again. 
and is showering in what appears to be a sketchy motel shower in Mexico with the water pressure trickling down. That is actually very odd about the water pressure. So Julia Fox comments on this. I have a feeling he's the one leaking stuff to the press. I see that. Like, I, I feel like that's totally true. I mean, allegedly, but I feel that. Well, because he even did an interview right after the wedding. He sat down with like Entertainment Tonight or Good Morning America or something. He did like a big mainstream interview and it's very awkward. Britney isn't there. Like, it's not him and Britney. It's just him. What is his career? Like, what does he he's do? He's an actor. We'll get to some of that in a bit. I don't think he's really been in anything yet, at least that is legitimate. But um, he has some things coming out. Uh, some deals in the pipeline. Insert a uh, TikTok here about someone had pointed out that it's a clear smear campaign going on about Britney right now from TMZ and um, Page Six. I took the time to collect the headlines that TMZ and Page Six have been running about Britney Spears over the last seven days. Friends, this is a very clear display of a smear campaign. And I just want to reiterate that none of this is like a headline from 2007, 2010. This is from May 2023. Britney's former conservators are starving for that Britney money. And so they're teaming up with the media now to run headlines like this. Let's put our thinking caps on. Let's use a modicum of common sense. None of this is factual. If the news about Kevin Federline wanting to move to Hawaii with the boys is true, well... In the state of Hawaii, the child support age limit gets extended to the age of 23. I'll say it again, they are starving to get that conservatorship back. Also Hawaii, Kevin, we know that that is Britney's favorite place to vacation, Maui. Very much attacking her mental health, calling into question like what she's doing and like her weird, like it's really putting her behavior in the spotlight in a negative light. Okay, I mean, I feel like they do that to everyone, but are, they're just extra doing it to Britney now again. But then they also, it's odd because TMZ will report so many things from direct sources. They'll be like, so-and-so told us this. And it's like, why are Britney's people communicating with oh, them no, directly? Oh no, it's not Britney's people. It's just Sam hiding in a closet in the house like telling them everything you know it now let's shift to do you remember the last time we talked about this one of the things that people thought was super incriminating and sketchy is that sam had content on his instagram that showed him in like a green screen room <laughs> yes yeah so back to your question about um what he does he posted this august 11 2022 and this has really just made the rounds on tiktok because people are like so is that where you're filming britney <laughs> if you look into what he was doing here because he said, just wrapped my latest project, I love what I do. It also does say that that caption was edited and I don't remember what it was originally, but somehow we did figure out that what he's filming here, it's for this thing called the Mr. Right app. So if we go to your Mr. Right app, it's powered by Verizon, an interactive film by Powder Keg. This is giving the layouts I used to make for MySpace. <laughs> I, w I was gonna comment on it when I first opened it, but it's like kind of a trendy thing right now. So I feel like to do that aesthetic, it's not that it's not like it's just like outdated. It's like just an interesting choice, I guess. <laughs> so if you scroll down, it says Mr. Wright is an interactive romantic comedy where we meet Sophia just as she's received an invitation to. Oh, I oh, <laughs> they have emojis. And I think it's supposed to be like an ad libs thing to promote it because it's basically kind of like those choose your own adventure situations. So there's like different outcomes. Yeah. At the end, it says it can result in one of 17 different endings. So choose wisely. So then you scroll down and it shows the cast, which he's, I guess, the like main guy in this interactive series, but it's also like an app. I don't really totally understand. Just honest question. How does this get funding? And like all the other apps that people have like such great ideas for just Well, can't. that's what I was looking into was who's funding it. And if it has any kind of connection to any of the other stuff, which I didn't find a direct link, I don't think, but it talks about how it uses AR technology to fully immerse you in a lifelike experience, chat with the characters and create their story arc at every stage. So it's very much about alternate reality and like it's an interactive digital world that you can like be in kind of, which is very similar to like kind of the concepts of AI, which again, I haven't found a direct link between Mr. Wright 
and the company I'm about to talk about, but I did see that if you go to the Apple store, it says that the seller of the app, like in just the information at the bottom, is something called Name Tag Films. And when I went to Name Tag Films website, they have an entire section on something called extended reality production. Let me read you what it says. Extended reality, commonly referred to as XR, is an umbrella term used for studio environments created using augmented reality, AR, virtual reality, reality, VR, and mixed reality, MR, techniques. The cutting edge technology allows filmmakers to create an endless variety of interactive and immersive environments within the confines of a studio. And it says, what makes it better than green screen? So I don't really totally understand what it is, but what makes it better than green screen? Shooting with a green screen has long been a common practice in film and broadcast, but with XR in the final picture is, cre that's a typo, is created on set, which makes it seem like the days of green screen are numbered. The technology provides provides a wide spectrum and broad number of tools to work with, unlike green screen, that can sometimes make it difficult for actors to get into a moment and feel the emotions required in a certain situation. XR stage gives a real world feel that enables actors to perform better. It also enables technicians and the director to do their work better by providing them a real life backdrop. And it's all about like doing real life stuff from a studio. So. I found that all to be pretty relevant. Because people think that's what they're doing with Britney? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they don't even think it's just her being like composited into things. It's like, they'll say Sam looks fake in it too. So the idea would be that they had filmed something or even him and someone else had filmed something and then they used AI to replace the face and then use something like this to then put them in the environment that they're in. Have you ever seen the TikToks or Instagrams of deep fake Tom Cruise? Um, yes, I have actually and deep fake Elon Musk. Oh yeah, I've seen that too. It's kind of terrifying. It is. And ironically, apparently the reason the Tom Cruise one at least was originally created, um, I heard a interview with, it was like the co-founder or something of the company that makes it. I guess they do have Tom Cruise's uh, consent to keep doing it. But originally they did it kind of as like a campaign to show how dangerous it could be and that it's like, look what's possible. And the interview I was listening to was saying that the biggest issue with AI is ethics he kept describing it as like an ethical company. And the person interviewing was like, well, how are you an ethical company? And he was like, well, I think it comes down to consent, which we've talked about with the deep fake porn situations yeah. that have come out. So that makes me think also, because a lot of people say that Britney's not really out of her conservatorship and they'll like cite different paperwork that maybe there's some like loopholes that like it's not the same people are controlling her, but there are still people that are involved in her every day. So if she she was in a conservatorship. I think that they might be able, and this is totally me just talking on my ass. I don't know this alleged hypothetical, but if she was in a conservatorship, I think wouldn't they be able to give consent for her? To her likeness, like uh -huh. everything that has to do. I mean, I would imagine, especially I feel like when she did have the conservatorship, I felt like they had power of attorney and everything. Right? So it's like, that's an interesting thing to note is that consent is the biggest thing and she can't consent for herself because she was being controlled by other people. Do people still think that she is in a conservatorship? Yeah, I did just, I was going to include this, but I didn't have time to like fact check it and look that deep into it but people think that it just shifted. It's like other people are in charge. They got her dad and the, the guy, the main guy out of it, but there's still other people. Is there not the a paper trail or something that we would be able to see? The person claimed that they had a paper trail. I just like couldn't really gotcha. decipher what it meant. Like it to me, it, it didn't, I was like, is this evidence? I don't really know. Yeah. So if you go down more of this deep fake thing, which back to that glitch that we watched in the beginning, that is absolutely what happens when deep fake like mess up, which the deep Tom Cruise was made by this company called Metaphysic. And I just realized when I Googled it that Metaphysic was a contestant on America's Got Talent where they literally go on, we won't watch it, but they go on and they have an actor come out and then they have a video screen behind. So it shows a live AI conversion. I don't know what you call it. In uh, real time. Of this guy. Yeah, in real time of this guy on stage. And then they make him Simon Cowell singing on the screen. <gasps> Which, honestly, it's 
doesn't look that like it's a little creepy looking. Yeah, I was like, his face just like isn't moving. But <laughs> the idea that that's being done live. In real time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does one even come up with an idea like that? I'm not saying that it doesn't take talent to do this actual whole screen thing. It's impressive that he's doing it in real time. I just don't see the appeal for a show like this, you know? I yeah, really I guess. It. Well, I mean, I think that a lot with America's Got Talent because what do they win? Is it like a residency in Vegas or something? Yeah, it's like, mm, it, like you would have to incorporate it like if it was somehow like a comedy show like you were having them I don't really know like impressions if he did impressions yeah. of them that would be cool but, but even, even then yeah even then it's like <laughs> but you're get, having it do the work for you kind of yeah I, I, I don't, don't know. know but so interesting that it has been so like public that this has been like they were in the semifinals I am pretty sure they did Howie Mandel as well There are two big examples on their website it's Tom Cruise and Elvis and it has like a slider on screen that you literally can show like them turning someone that's like kind of an Elvis maybe look alike kind of to it looking exactly like Elvis it says on the main part of the website create generative AI video, which I had never heard before, that looks real. Our software automates hyper real generative AI content creation. Ooh. And I'm like, generative. So they generate, rather than having like all of the facial expressions of someone, they have some and then the computer learns what the rest might be, I guess. Oh Lord. The idea is that you wouldn't necessarily need an actor to put their face on. They could just generate the entire thing from the the data that it has. I mean, I've even seen like amateur, like just people dabbling with things like this on TikTok. It was like a trend to make songs. Did you hear that? Like, so they would Honestly, have- Honestly, I could probably do it. That's insane because they had Drake, for instance, rapping and it sounded just like Drake. And it was like kind of a fire song too. So I don't know. The sound ones are totally different. Those oh. I've heard, like, I just heard a, um, is there, is it Kanye that does the bubbly cover? Oh, I Someone don't know. Else. It's like one- that are just like that would never happen but they're right. actually really good right 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 no yeah so the ai covers alone sound great this is though saying like doing that with video hmm. so like i could put in a bunch of videos of elvis and suddenly i don't need an actor to then put elvis's face on it will just create elvis weird eh, i don't know i don't like that which is exactly what would come in handy when they are creating Britney AI things to then put in different environments. There's a couple things though that her video, something I noticed about it is like, number one, it's super poor quality. It looks like it was shot on a potato. Like it's just not very good quality in general. And then number two, if that was the case, why wouldn't they catch, if they had all this like, post-production going on just to generate one tiny piece of like 15 second long content. Why wouldn't they catch that glitch? It was pretty obvious. I totally am on that same page. In the same vein though, I think that all the time with the Kardashians when they don't catch Photoshop things. And I'm like, how much money do you have and who's doing this for you? But that's a little different because that's just them, you know, with their long ass nails trying to like face tune and then you get face tune eyes where you just don't realize, you know? A lot of it, I don't think it's them doing though. It seems, or, or like Beyonce for example. Example, I think has also had some weird Photoshop things. And I'm like, I know you're not sitting there Photoshopping yourself. You paid someone to do it and they're that bad. They have to know, like with all the conspiracies going on right now, they know that all, all the eyeballs are on the video. Of videos course they do. Like and Hawks. not only that, if the theory is that they're making someone else that quite frankly looks like, I thought it was like her dad. Like when you pause it, it kind of like low key looks like her dad. Let's say it's this random dude think it's that's Jamie just Lynn. like standing in for Brittany or Jamie Lynn. Wouldn't you be so fucking careful because you're making someone who's not her her and you need to be like insanely meticulous about it how would they just be like oh glitched out it's fine nobody will notice like i don't know or like why is it still up it's still up right now i agree but i also have to be like there is clearly a deep like there's something on that there's a filter or something going on so like what is the explanation then could it be because I've seen it when i'm scrolling tiktok live there's this one girl in particular she uses a filter that's so heavily like, it's such a heavy filter that it almost puts a face on top of her face. Yeah, but what is the filter that she's using? I don't know, random man in a <laughs> closet? Like, I don't know, <laughs> I'm not sure. It could be some weird fucking filter because the way it glitches too, almost looks like, I don't know, like a face just got pasted there. Like, I don't, I feel like that could that's, be a filter. But that's a deep fake, Sar. You know, it's hard because it's easy to just say this is all bullshit, but then also at the same time, she has confirmed that she has subtly asked for help on social media and like has tried to send like, you know, signs and symbols. So like, yes, there's conspiracies, but she's also like kind of partaken in that and like sent signals. So like, I get why people are digging this deep. With the deep fakes, if you go to that deep fake Tom account, he has multiple where he's done little collabs with Paris Hilton. 
who you might remember is one of Britney's best friends that went to her wedding that was very intimate and small. I didn't know that they were best friends. Either did most of the world. Yeah, I had no idea. There were, I mean, but also Selena Gomez was at her wedding and I was like, wait, what? I guess here, let's first click some of those. This is all the, uh, this not all of the people, fun. but it's some of the celebrities that went to Britney's wedding, which the big picture that got a lot of attention, it's Donatella Versace, Paris Hilton, Britney Spears, Madonna, Selena Gomez, and Drew Barrymore. <laughs> Talk about a random ass crowd. That is like the most random group of women, but like all iconic, but do they even know each other? Yeah. Like that's so random. And here is clips of Selena Gomez, Drew Barrymore, and Paris Hilton. And I don't know if this one has Paris Hilton. What's Paris Hilton's mom's name? You think I know Paris Hilton's mom? Kathy. Because Kathy Hilton is in a bunch of the pictures too. And people are like, does Kathy Hilton even know Brittany? And it's like, I guess if it's just weird. This is a clip from Selena Gomez on Jimmy Fallon, and it's just so obvious how uncomfortable she is talking about it. Tell us who's in this photograph. Do you know all uh, these people? Yes. I know this is, is so Drew funny. Barrymore yeah, here. Yeah, Drew Barrymore, Madonna, Paris Hilton, Donatella Versace, and the woman herself, Britney Spears. Yeah. Wow. It's like... Then Drew Barrymore went on Jimmy Fallon, and I really think she deserves an Oscar for this performance. It's like That's genuine so good. friends. And, and was it, did you have then that? I got invited to her wedding, which could not have been more intimate. The people you see in that photo is some of the only people there. There's only a few more. Yeah. At, at the actual event, it was intimate. It was fairy tale ish. It was very sweet. It was, you know, there was no press. It was uh, the way she wanted to do it. Yeah, good. Just pay attention to her wording and how similar it is to Drew Barrymore's. I really think that they gave the celebrities that came a few buzzwords to use, like intimate fairy tale. Such a beautiful, intimate affair, and it was unforgettable in a fairy tale, and I was just so proud to be there for her. I've also seen another one where it compares all of them talking about the guest list and like how many people went, and Kathy Hilton randomly throws out, I'm pretty sure she's like, there were 39 people there. <laughs> like she has such a specific number, but then Sam, when he's doing it in the interview, he's like 50 uh, to 70 guests. I don't know, call me a skeptic. I feel like a lot of people use the term fairy tale to describe a wedding. Totally. These, it could be a reach, but it, people have already noticed some weird things with all of them talking about it. And they do all seem a little like, they're very vague and it is always, I, Selena Gomez, for example. Isn't Selena Gomez like younger than me? Mm, she's my age. So she's 30. How long has Britney been in her conservatorship? And like, when would Selena Gomez have gotten close to Britney Spears? I feel like she was like a child. I don't know. I mean, but it's also not super far-fetched to think that they would just, you know how celebrity like world is kind of incestuous. very tight. Like there may be a lot of the, yeah, incestuous. They all run in the same circles. So it's not For that sure. surprising. And it, it's not the weirdest thing, but it is just kind of like, oh, okay. Maybe she's like the little sister. Now she wishes Jamie Spears was. <laughs> Before we get off the wedding, here's just a couple more. <laughs> <laughs> I was married life. I have to wear this thing now. <laughs> you know, it's just surreal, man. It's, uh, it's been a minute. It was way overdue for us. And uh, we imagined this thing being a fairy tale, and it was. <laughs> and we only had like 50 to 70 people. We wanted to just celebrate. Uh, and that's what we did. <laughs> why do they keep editing his laugh in there? The second time I thought it was not edited. I'm like, why does this guy keep laughing like this? And the third time I'm I like, know. okay. The caption is, what's so funny? <laughs> but um, edited interview aside, I think it's so strange that he did an interview alone after the wedding. On, okay, like, Good I can see how America. that's weird. It's like, Sam... Who are you? Why are you? Yeah, like I find, I do find that weird. Like Good Morning America? Are you kidding? If you weren't a fame whore, what other reason would you have to go well, on? Well, either, yeah, it's the famous aspect or getting like publicity or exposure. That's one thing, especially the fact that he's an actor. When you pointed that out, why isn't Britney there? That's a really good fucking point because if she doesn't want to be in the public eye talking about these things, why is then her husband doing do it? you don't do an interview. Yeah, your husband exactly. shouldn't be doing it either. It's not like, sorry, Britney was busy. Like, no, why would you do it if she's not? That's so strange. They they um, interviewed him during the Free Britney movement. He was by a car or something. And his whole vibe was so weird. Like, I just find him very, like, why are you talking during this time? Like, your wife can't talk. Why the fuck are you talking? I saw a clip earlier where he gave the paparazzi the just married sign off the car. What? No, that's so, like, giving Cloud Goblin. That's giving weird, weird vibes. Regardless if there's, like, some nefarious AI conspiracy going on, he's a fucking 
pay more and he's like, I think we can all agree on that. Last thing on the wedding and then I'll move back to the green screen shit. This I mentioned to you before we started filming because I took a little too long researching. I was like, it's because I was trying to find these pictures that I know I've seen before. There's not a ton of pictures from inside the wedding, but there's a few and they're definitely like professional quality. And you can see even professional photographers in the background of some of the video and pictures. Notoriously, I guess people were not allowed to bring their phones in. And I think someone even uploaded a might have even been Kathy Hilton, uploaded a picture of the invitation that says like, check your phones at the door or something. Which is why I saw months ago, someone post a TikTok about how people's phones were photoshopped out of these pictures. So it's not that people didn't necessarily have their phones. It's that they didn't want the public to know that there might be other pictures from inside the event that these people personally took. I've seen something about this. I like tried to find any and it's so hard to find literally any other pictures of her wedding besides like there's one of Selena Gomez there's one of her Madonna here's one and it's Selena Gomez like leaning down so your focus is definitely in the foreground on Britney and Selena and a piece of love but why the hell is Britney wearing a messy bun at her wedding again we've discussed this that's the most realistic part of all of this. <laughs> okay so wait there's two things about this so we'll zoom in and not only do you see a guy with a phone right here yeah but This guy is clearly holding what was a phone and you can even kind of see the outline of where it was. And Kathy Hilton is reading off of the phone. Is she, I don't know if I believe that because now that I'm looking closer to his phone, maybe he's just like his hand just at a weird angle. Like he's just in the middle of moving his hand and she's just I like looking at God knows what. Might be insane, but I can see literally an outline of where the phone was. Oh, oh the shadow that's kind of slanted. Yeah. That could just be a ruffle on his shirt. It could be an optical illusion, but I it looks photoshopped to me. Look at how white it is. Yeah, right and it's here. like stiff also in the way that you would be like holding a phone. It's odd. It's a little weird. I wish I had more examples because this is the closest I think I could find to one that was really obvious to me. And then with Kathy Hilton seemingly looking But why on, wouldn't they Photoshop homie in the back? I exa- I don't know. But where the what's the, where's the picture he's taking? But for though? me, because of my mind and how it works, seeing that one guy with the phone in the back is enough for me to be like, oh no, those other people weren't holding phones. Because <laughs> why wouldn't they just Photoshop his too? But their hands look weird. Like why is everybody's hand so weird in that picture? I'm so mad though, because I know there are more examples and then now I just can't find them. There was one here though. Oh my god, Selena looks so slay in that picture. Queen. (laughs) Which, again, your focus is absolutely on Selena, so it's maybe hard to notice. But if we used our binoculars... (laughs) Sir back here, holding his hand very No, I see his phone. I also have severe astigmatism. Is he actually holding one? Did they not Photoshop it out? get my peepers out. Wait, I thought I saw, like, the camera of his phone. Why is everybody's hands like this? (laughs) Because they're holding phones that have been Photoshopped! Jesse. But why? What is the and purpose? And I'm telling you, there are more examples, but they are not on the internet anymore. I can't find them. Why would they not want people to ha- like have phones in a picture? It's too much effort for something so random. I don't know, but I swear to God, there were at least five more examples and now I just can't find them. And I'm going to look after we're done filming because I know that they existed at one point. He's a hold- he is holding a phone. <sighs> But so is the guy in the back. (laughs) It's all just the weirdest shit I've ever seen. So back to metaphysic. (laughs) Oh, Lordy. I feel like we've been on the roller coaster. Like we were talking about Tom Cruise, Paris Hilton. And back to Tom Cruise. This is the TikTok that originally got me to even look them up. This girl does a ton of Britney Spears content and a lot of it doesn't really go anywhere. It's a lot of her like zooming in and like just going frame by frame through videos and pointing stuff out that I kind of see, but not really. And she points out that, do you remember Britney's Instagram name changed to, I don't think it's this anymore, but the name on her Instagram account said, uh, channel eight now it says river red which i actually saw on instagram explaining that i never noticed that that was super random and there was never really an explanation let's watch her tiktok so she brings up deep tom we've already seen deep tom before why do i bring him up seems like he's closely related to britney more than we think Count the headlights on the- So I thought she was going to be bringing up here that Paris Hilton is in the video, one of Britney's besties. Uh huh. But this goes even a step further. It's an interesting song choice. It's a very popular song. Everyone loves Elton John. Or did you guys know that the company that makes Deep Tom also is an exclusive relationship with CAA? 
let's talk about that. September 4th, Britney Spears posted this on her Instagram. The caption was, eight sideways is infinity, or I'm making that up. What's that about, right? Our good friend on Instagram and TikTok, Let's Free Britney, made this post. This is the original website of Metaphysic back in 2022. And so Metaphysic is the company that made Deep Tom. Their logo is an infinity sign. And I guess Brittany had mentioned that in an Instagram story, or yeah, in an Instagram story, that weird cryptic card thing said something about a sideways eight being an infinity sign. And then also her thing was ch channel eight. So people like connected that. She 100% did change her name to channel eight. Positive stop with my own two eyes. Weird. We can't include the audio for this, but so this, she's including screenshots from the old metaphysic website. And it literally says, celebrity or actor not available to shoot? No problem. We create hyper-realistic synthetic performances without the celebrity or actor needing to be on set. And we have glitches where a random man appears. They should have that. Well, let me, so great time to bring that up, Jesse. It's like you already read my Google Doc. <laughs> Where's my mouse? On the Metaphysic website now, they have a blog post that says how to uncover a deep fake. And it shows that if you're video chatting someone that's deep faking you, ask them to turn sideways and it'll glitch out. And it shows glitches that happen that are very reminiscent of a lot of the things that people point out in Britney's videos. Ooh, okay. Here's a bunch of celebrity examples where it's like totally looks like them head on and then they turn and it suddenly like warps out and it doesn't know what to do. Yeah. And this is on that company's website that they are even sharing. But she posts on her Instagram, right? Like she just posted on her Instagram. What? Was it her? <laughs> well, that's what I, like it's pictures with Sam and like she's living her life and she's dancing and stuff. Well, so I don't have this pulled, but I just saw a TikTok even recently that someone found a picture. I don't think that she posted, but that Sam did. And it was something about like hiking with my babe or something generic. But they found those pictures had originally been posted in like 2020 or something. Ooh. They're like super old. Wait, so he reposted and acted like it was current? Yeah. See, that's super fucking weird. But at the same time, are we sticking with our theory that we had last time we covered Britney where it's like, maybe she's just not well right now mentally and they just need to keep up some sort of facade for God knows what? My brain's going crazy now though, ever since the deep fake. And then in that TikTok we just watched, how she mentions that they have an exclusive partnership with CAA. Mm -hmm. The talent agency? Yes, which coincidentally, reps Britney Spears. Oh, okay. They also, this is super random, but they also rep Ansel Elgort. That is very who random. Who was randomly at her wedding. Really? Oh my God, what is that? Oh. Oh my God. And she even posted, wait one sec. Okay guys, I think I cracked something pretty dang big on this baby driver post. I was trying to like look up about this. Britney posted a picture of Ansel Elgort dancing at her wedding. Which like, why the fuck was Ansel Elgort there, huh? That is a random person to be at her wedding, especially if there's only 50 to 70 people. <laughs> exactly. But um, I looked and he is repped by CAA as well. And let's finish Look up about this Ansel guy because I didn't know too much about him. I recognize him from, okay, so he's one of Cade's clients who was in the West Side Story. Didn't realize that. He's one of Cade's clients who was also Cade. on my Google Doc. Cade is Britney's CAA agent slash longtime friend that helped her amid her conservatorship battle. And a lot of the theories I've seen on TikTok are that it's him in a lot of the videos. They don't Stop. like Stop. <laughs> According to TMZ, shocking, Hudson is a close friend of hers too. That's not the guy in the video. I mean, hello. Do you agree? I feel like that looks nothing like- I guess, well, there's been videos I heard like of him, Um, they were like out doing karaoke and he like imitates her and he sounds just like her. I guess my brain's just the way it operates. Don't hate me, people. But really, I just genuinely- no, please poke all the holes. No, I just don't understand why. Like, okay, if it's her talent agency behind it, sure, I know that talent agencies and publicists and shit, they do crazy stuff to make money and to gain popularity for their clients and whatever but why would they do this like are they making a lot of money from her social media that's what my question the too is like wh what's the goal here and that original tmz clip that we watched like on accident which i don't know if we included but um here it is now potentially could we ever see britney back on stage that's not gonna happen she is not gonna be doing uh, any tours, she's not going to be doing a residency. We do know that she wants to record new music um, and that there have been uh, discussions about that already. So Britney Spears isn't going to do any fucking shows, but she's going to put out records. 
Hmm. It's basically them saying that she's not going to tour anymore, but she will come out with new music, which is a convenient way to set up her continuing to do music, but then like potentially not really either be in the mindset to do it. And she's off in an institution somewhere where they've like sedated her or I don't know. That's obviously the extreme end of the conspiracy. From what I gathered from the whole Free Britney movement and like from how she spoke out and stuff was that she really wanted to take this opportunity when she got out of her conservatorship to enjoy her life, to not have to work. She's been forced to work for so many years. She's been worked to the fucking bone and hadn't seen any money from it. Maybe she's just not wanting to work or like do anything. But then, but then again, it's like- come out with music? Well, that I feel like- It's like anybody, like yeah. somebody could- come out with music for her <laughs> like at this point like i don't feel like she even needs to be the one singing That's it like i feel like point, anybody can Jessie. imitate britney <laughs> well yeah but then it goes into like okay sure like maybe she just doesn't want to work but what's up with the deep fake dancing videos that's a little strange like that just doesn't make any fucking sense but it also doesn't make sense that she's dead if she was like you said they could make a lot more money from it probably agreed because people would be buying things more as like memorabilia and stuff and the the whole instagram and the deep fake thing it's like yes i've seen that video i I do think that there's something going on. But again, I, my question is similar. Why? Like, who picked the like weird dancing motif to be like the theme of her? Like, why is that what they're doing? And if they were trying to do something, why pick such obscure dance moves that are for certain going to glitch out of DFA? Like, why not just keep it simple? Side to side hip, you know? I think those are valid doubts. But um, <laughs> continue with me down the rabbit hole for just a little bit further. I did think it was interesting that this article was one of the first things that came up when I searched Cade Hudson and it's Hollywood life, so whatever. But it does mention that he made headlines for holding Emma Roberts' hand at Paris Hilton's wedding. So he's also well acquainted with Paris Hilton. And apparently, who did uh, it say that he just managed? I'm blanking. The, it just said in that video we watched. Oh, he was Ansel Elgort's oh, manager. Oh, yeah, which that then is like, very, okay, so multiple of his clients were present at the wedding. But so CAA, the talent agency. <laughs> I'm so glad that I didn't bring this up to you sooner because I'm glad I get to just to show you right now. Oh, Lordy. I was on a completely different side of conspiracy TikTok where I get a lot of like government conspiracies that come up, a lot of like Illuminati stuff, such as this one that I saw about CAA. And it was someone that I guess researches a lot of conspiracy theories. So he was responding to a comment that he got and it was like, have you looked into CAA? And he <laughs> like, it's him being like, no. I will now. And then it's him coming back afterwards. And I forget that everyone doesn't just know what CAA is. And it stands for Creative Artist Agency. And they rep anyone from like authors, actors, literally any famous person that is going to make money, they want to rep, which includes people like Britney Spears and Ansel Elgort. This TikTok shows that if you look up the CAA building in Los Angeles, this is so just left field. And I don't think it means anything, but it's just so fucking weird. You look up the CAA building in Century City, you click on maps. It's just Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> you're like what just how like, does this all come together on the, on the building no if you look at the, uh, so the like, aerial view okay and then we zoom in on the building do you see that is a triangle with an eye and then there's an eye up here that is the illuminati freemason symbols i'm not saying do you think that's what it is i'm telling you that's what it is so like it, okay. that, it's undeniable that that's what it, that is it's built into the landscaping i see the triangle with the little eye yeah 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 uh, yeah i guess yeah, I could like it's one that I saw. Like usually, I see the the craziest conspiracy theories. I'm like, this is so stupid. I can't believe people believe this. I saw this and I was like, that is very odd. Yeah, I see the triangle with the eye in it. That I see pretty clearly. Oh, and I think the other eye is even clearer. Mm, oh, now I see it more. You had the mouse over yeah, it. It's, yeah, it's yeah, 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 it's unreal. Like it's not a question of is that what it is. It's why is it there? Why is that like that? Isn't Illuminati like it's all the famous people or whatever? And if they rub all the famous people, maybe they wanted the famous people to feel comfortable in their office. So welcome, welcome Illuminati folk. <laughs> it pulls it all back full circle to like. Oh my God, is the Illuminati controlling Britney Spears? See, but like- Like that's how people get here though. That would make the most sense at this point because it's like, what even is the fucking motive? Like, I don't get it. And again, if they did want to control her, why would this be the way they do it? I don't know. But this just was like the cherry on top. I'm like, oh my God, CAA is involved. This is perfect. I just saw that Illuminati shit. <laughs> like it does all raise a lot of questions. Where is the CAA building? Century City. No, no, I'm saying which building is it here? Um, so it's right here. I think it's this entire building. Oh, it's that one. Okay, so they don't own the triangle. 
to. You know what I mean? Maybe those people made the Illuminati decision. Well, but then it extends to this half too. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they made the front one and the other people made <laughs> Maybe the they're back all one. in it. So it was like they they split the cost for landscaping. <laughs> Listen, I don't think everything with Britney's kosher and I'm not trying to like just be like nothing's ha- like I well, think something I don't is a miss. She's like suddenly being controlled. Like I don't think everything on her Instagram's fake and she's being completely Yeah, I don't think we're having Illuminati. a week in a Bernie's moment. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't think she's like just like a puppet and they're trying to control her. But I do think it's it's very interesting how many weird things are like not hard to find. Yeah, it's undeniably not kosher. Like I don't think anybody's something like, I odd. get no weird vibes from this. Everything's fine. Yeah, something odd is happening. And again, I feel like that's the same place we were in the last time where it's like, now there's just more weird examples and connections, but it's all back to the same place of like, but why, but who, These, but I think when, feel where, a little more substantial than before. They do, they do. Well, again, like I said, I have seen people feel fake glitches where I go to the original video and that glitch is not there. So actually when I watched that one lady's video, cause I saw her video too, where she was like, oh, I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist. I didn't even believe her video. I went straight to Britney's TikTok and I was like, I need to see it for myself. And I paused it and it wasn't even hard to pause it on there. And that is true. Like her face does glitch out. But again, is that just a really heavy filter of a person that looks just like her dad? Well, on the topic of the deep fake and AI and stuff, back to that company Metaphysic that makes the deep Tom Cruise when you Google them, there's an article that comes up recently that Tom Hanks and Robin Wright are going to be de-aged for an upcoming Robert Zemeckis movie. It will be accomplished using a new generative AI-driven tool dubbed Metaphysic Live. And Metaphysic, who has revealed that they entered into a strategic partnership with CAA to develop generative AI tools and services for talent, though details of the agreement were not revealed. So people think that Metaphysic is involved, correct? Yes, that they're like basically the technology behind all of it. Also, as evidenced by their like relationship with CAA and how apparently that's relevant because of Britney and Kate. But then why would they go out of their way to like kind of talk about how ethics and stuff is so important to them and that they need consent basically to make it kosher? Well, my point earlier though, it's like, what if they have consent? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did say that. Like if there's some sort of power of attorney and someone, yeah, signed mm-hmm. it over. But that's also not very ethical, <laughs> I feel. Oh, it's bullshit. But Technically. Yeah. It's a lot of things that I'm like, I'm starting to be like, I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to be like, yes, absolutely. The tinfoil hat is like, I have it ready, but it's not fully on. Again. Yeah. Mine is like in the other room, but girly, I will put it on if I need to. Yeah. I think something weird is happening. I just, again, sorry guys. I don't know what it is. Oh, I feel like I'm kind of leaving you on, um, uh, okay. What, yeah, what I was about to say, did you guys think we were going to solve it? Because we're not. <laughs> I haven't spent that many hours. Like, I could continue the deep dive a little further. But it's not I even just... about the deep diving. I think it's about, like, the Free Britney movement, for instance, like, took so many years and so much buildup and effort and time. Like, you guys can, and we can all speculate as much as we want, but it's not, like... We're not going to be able to pull a Jason Alexander and just like show up and be like, I'm going to save you, Brittany. Like, that's not going to happen. Like, whatever's happening to her, and I hope she's okay mentally, physically, everything. What's sad to see is that her journey in this industry and in her life with her family betraying her like they did, because we all know that 100% happened. Like, that's not a conspiracy. I feel like all of that stuff like tied in is just, it's very sad to see what a toll it's taken on her spirit, like as a human being. And I just think that all she deserves is peace. And whatever that means for her, I hope she's getting it. And I hope she isn't freaking, I don't know, locked away somewhere and they're just trying to like save face by doing these weird deep fakes. Like, I really hope that's not true because she deserves peace. Like she's been through a lot. And it just is absurd. Like if she's really living out the plot of a fucking Black Mirror episode, like that is insane. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, this is literally Black Mirror. It's really sad either way because I mean, if someone's controlling her, that's terrible. But then also if she's just like kind of mentally not fully stable, then that's really sad too because I can't imagine the entire internet speculating a bunch of other weird stuff is helping. Honestly, I just feel like when did she get the chance to heal herself mentally? When? Like, she just got out of her conservatorship. A million billion eyes on her critiquing everything she posts on social media. It's a lot. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many people that have so many things to say about her. Including her husband, Including her husband. I know, doing interviews and shit. Which is why I don't get why he does shit like that. It's like, you don't think the girl, like, deserves a break? Like, for real, for real? Like, you don't think she... If she's not sitting next to you, she doesn't want to be talking to the press. Or when she is sitting next to him. And do you remember when he would, like, go on Instagram live? And she'd be like, I don't want to go on live. No, I never saw that. Do you want to see it? 
Oh my God. It's like, uh, he's just the worst. See, that's fucked up. Like, it's literally like, first of all, she's always, I, her history with the press is so horrible that I'm sure she does not like those fuckers for good reason. Why are you smiling with your little weasel face? Like, just smiling on Good Morning America. What are you doing here? Like, he does give me really bad vibes, which makes me so sad because I think he's taking advantage of someone who has been through a lot and who is not maybe in the strongest or best judgment of her life, period. Like, I just feel like when she dated Kevin Federline back in the day, like, everyone knew that it was a fucking clout chase backup dancer. It was like, knock Yeah, <laughs> literally. Everyone knew it and we didn't want her to get married to him and she did and she had children with him and he was a cloud goblin. Speaking of, did you notice that the children weren't at her wedding? That's a whole other sad thing and the audio that leaked of her like bitching at her kids. I wouldn't even want to play that on the show. Like I feel like that shouldn't have never been leaked and I think Kevin leaked it, right? How else would that? Probably. Like the kids probably recorded it. He probably leaked it to the press and it's just her fighting with her kids which TBH, like back in the day when I was a teenager, me and my mom said way worse to each other. Like, hello? I listened to it and I didn't strike me as like, Brittany is a terrible She said like, maybe that he was like an asshole or something. It was like like, telling them to like respect her or something. I don't know what she said, but yeah, it wasn't like absolutely terrible. The only thing is like, I know it was Kevin that leaked it. And there's just so many people in her life that have failed her. Not even like loyalty on like a, okay, like I'm loyal to you. You're my ex-wife and like we have kids together. No, just like basic, like the loyalty you would give to like a stranger on the street. Like why can't she fucking find anyone worth a damn in her life? Which brings me back to whether it's the Illuminati controlling her in a Black Mirror episode in real life or it's her just like being taken advantage still by like gross people. I feel like that that's just it. <laughs> like I feel like genuinely she cannot catch a break I mean, with the, meeting both shitty humans. She would be taken advantage by gross people, but on a, a much more like conspiracy level or just like a human level, they just suck. I don't know. I hope she finds peace and Sam can skedaddle on out of here. Nobody wants you here, Sam. I mean, I feel like and at the same time, that'll make her very sad because I do feel like she genuinely probably loves him. But get the fuck out of here. You wish you had a much more modest budget. Fuck you. You know you love living in your little mansion, living your life, driving your cars. Get out of here. Come on. It's all gross. I don't like it. Well, if you guys know anything else, because we tend to, you know, sometimes we miss things. But if we did miss anything like significant here, please let us know because this doesn't make any sense. I do know one more thing that I did leave out purposely because I didn't have time to really dive into it so much. But just like that Channel 8 thing, similar to that, she has referenced something in her captions and like verbally she said in videos, something called Project Rose. It leads down like a whole other rabbit hole. So if anyone knows about that, feel free to give us a little recap in the comments so we can get up to date. But otherwise, I feel like that's pretty much the extent that it like something was weird with the wedding. A lot of people think it's fake. People think that Sam is leaking stuff to TMZ slash probably helping them with this smear campaign to make her just seem completely unstable. Some of the the things I touched on maybe go a little deeper, but I think I covered pretty much the overview. Okay, well... (laughs) How do I make this transition? What do you have? (laughs) Well, well, I was playing Fortnite two nights ago. Well, I play every night. But two nights ago, I've been playing with Alex James. And he was like, have you heard about the Islands Boys? Or the Islands, not Islands Boys, Island Boys. You know, you know the ones. Island Singular Boys, plural. If you don't know them... Lucky you. They are the Florida twins. I'm almost positive they're from Miami because they are Cuban. If you don't remember, they're the ones who sing that song that's like, cause I'm an island boy, you know, an island boy or whatever. That's what it's they got funny famous for. I just caught myself being like, why do we know them again? I know. Yeah. Well, we can play it for you guys for your listening pleasure. Hopefully we don't get copyrighted. CAA probably reps them. I'm a- Boy. Apparently their names are Frankie Venegas and Alex Venegas and their stage names though are Kodiak Red, spelled very strange, and then um, Fly Soldier. It's giving AIM in 2007. Regardless, <laughs> yes, they yes, are absolutely. brothers, okay? Blood brothers and they're not just brothers, they're twins. So they are known for that song and they're on uh, TikTok Live all the fucking time they come up on my For You page. So that's why I thought this was odd that you brought, before we even get to what she's about to reveal, which I'm sorry in advance. (laughs) Trigger warning. Against your will. I saw them, uh, one of them on a live recently on accident against my will. It was that they weren't talking. Oh, they're fighting? One of them is sober and one of them is not. Hmm. Interesting. I know way more than I wish to. Well, that may be currently, and you know, I want to say in advance, what I have to say is not even like breaking news right now, but it's breaking news to me. I had no idea that this had gone on, but 
Guys. It's not going to be in the title. No, no, it can't be in the title. We'll get kicked off of YouTube. So they got famous because of that song because it was so bad. And even people like Ethan Klein, I remember, was talking about it like every fucking episode. He wanted to get them on an interview and he couldn't. They actually went on Impulsive and did an interview where they walked off. Did you see that? I was going to say, didn't that end badly? Yeah, I actually, I have it right here. You guys are throwing a lot of threats. I'm sitting right here. No one's threatening you. You You guys said it's not going to go my way. Yeah. This is not the Nilk Boys. We don't do fake over here. What are you you trying to scare me or something? I'm not scared of you, homie. All right, I'm not scared of you guys either. Okay, so just keep it like that. Do you know what I mean? I th- I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step in for a hey, second. Hey, just, I, hold on. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, hold on. This is a podcast. No. Here, I'm moving for you. I was giving you nice advice, bro. I, I agree with that. Did I, did I say anything mean? I... You fucked up, George. They've made a lot of money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I was saying that they're always on my TikTok live. And one time it was so funny because he was he was live with this random girl that I guess he didn't know. And he was like literally say one of them. I don't know which one it was. Kodiak Red or Fly Soldier. But it was one of the boys. And he was saying like, dude, like, just give me a chance. Like, I can do like amazing things for you. And then she was like, well, like, what's your favorite thing about me? And he's like. What do you mean? And she's just like, what would you do for me? Like, I don't even get that. He's like, I would do everything. Literally no depth in his soul, just air circulating around. Like, it was so funny. I mean, he's literally like just a potato. I don't know how they're real people. They're not. And and to have, you're both Cuban. You're telling me your parents are Cuban and you look like that? Do you understand that my father like actually almost passed away with me getting the tattoos that I have on my body? I was just about to zoom in on their pictures and like, what? Uh, tattoos do they have on their face? First of all, their hair looked like a bunch of dildos sticking out. Like it was giving Cynthia from Rugrats, but even worse. It was so bad. Thankfully, they shaved it off, but then they still look awful because they have a bunch of ugly tattoos. They're not nice tattoos. What haven't? They've gotten veneers, so it looks like they have chiclets in their mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I'm not trying to offend the veneer crowd, but we need to put a stop to this veneer train. Oh, I think veneers can be done very Name one. Name well, one. but... Name one that it doesn't look like they literally just like molded it out of like fucking like perfect square white. Like here's my chompers. The people that have them that are good, you wouldn't think they're veneers. So you wouldn't know. Okay. You know what? <laughs> hey, you're onto something with that theory. This is a veneer. Oh, no, no. Well, I have like a veneer, I guess, because I had a root canal. On my front tooth. Oh my God. Side tangent. I didn't know what root canals were. Like, I I still don't, totally. I don't (laughs) know much about the dental industry, but (laughs) oh my God, it was on my front, like literally my like second tooth over. I knew they were bad, but I didn't know literally what they were doing. Oh my God, they literally shave your tooth down to like be, it's just like a little nub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It becomes like a tiny little, it looks like a a Tic Tac. Not, barely. Like a Tic Tac you like sucked on for a little bit. (laughs) Well, and usually, usually it would be like one of your back teeth. So you're not, yeah, well, they finished that portion of the root canal and the dentist is like, okay, well, do you want to like go to the bathroom, like take a break really quick? Cause I'd been like laying there for a while. And I'm like, yeah, sure. You looked at yourself in the mirror. I went in the bathroom and I looked in the mirror. I was like, oh my God. I had a knob for a front tooth. I did not go to the bathroom during mine, but I want to say like two or three years after I got mine, I was eating a Werther's original and bitch, it came out. He fucking came out and I look and I'm like, ah, what is that? Oh my God, wait, it came out? Was it, it, came a, it was out. one of your front teeth? I bit into the caramel and when the caramel came out, it ripped my fucking tooth out and I had a little nub until they went in and they cemented it back in. Went in the front though? Oh no, mine's on the side. Oh, okay. I have like a, just a fear of that that's going to happen here because honestly, I feel like they said that I would have to get it replaced after a certain amount of time, but I think it's yeah, long don't worry about it. <laughs> and it's still there, knock on wood. That's one of my biggest fears though, is that it's just going to come out one day and it's literally in the front. So I'm just going to not bad. have it. That's happened to Tana Mojo and she's had to go to like a same day dentist. But <sighs> see, the thing is like- But she has money. I know, but Tana Mojo is a perfect example of like, and, and peace and love and you know, whatever people want to do. I think she had, per- like she, she had, her teeth were fine before and then she got these veneers at such a young age and people don't realize that when you're getting full mouth veneers yeah the teeth underneath that are your actual teeth are little tiny nubs and there is a lot of like risk with like nerve damage and stuff and and not to mention that i don't really like the look of them most of the time like i'm like that looks 
very artificial. Have you seen Fusi tubes? Like they're very, oh, very, very. Well. Okay, like literally think of like the whitest white in the world. That's the white he got. And like people tend to do that. So like the Island Boys did that as well. And it looks insane to me. I I'm guess like, that's the problem is like, so when I got mine, they like, at least they match it to your other teeth. So it's like, you can't get super white because that's the first thing they tell you. It's like, okay, well, if you bleach your teeth though, like this one won't change. So this is an interview on Impulsive with the Island Boys. And and the host makes a mention, I guess a financial advice mention, to the Island Boys, and it doesn't go over very well. <laughs> Just so weird, too. Boys. Ah! Oh my God, jump scare. Logan Paul's voice just like came onto my computer. Oh my God, my visceral reaction. Sounded like he was in the room with you. I almost started crying. Oh my God, that was, I'm not even, I'm sweating. Okay. Basically, all he says is like, because their career was very much like, you came up because your rap was so bad. He didn't say this, right? He's just saying like, you know, and if things don't really work out, you should like use all the jewelry you bought because they were making mentions of like, is your jewelry all real? And they were like, yeah. And they diamond tested it and all that stuff. And he's like, well, you can always like use that jewelry and like invest it in like financial things if any like if you it was kind of a sl like we can't say that wasn't a diss i don't remember it being like super negative i think it was like kind of him just being like oh, it wasn't so, like, negative you... in like the tone but just the sentiment of it it was like you guys are not going to be around for long so you can invest your jewelry in th something like you know what i mean i think if god forbid it doesn't go in your guys' direction for real oh. i think you guys take all of your jewelry assets and invest it in something so you guys <laughs> will never ever be broke again so I don't think there's gonna ever gonna be a broke situation, but I'm saying like if you guys jewelry, it can't be worth that much, man. I don't think you're gonna flip that into yeah. a retirement. No, you could definitely flip their <laughs> yeah. jewelry into for, God, let me, down payment or something. One, let me for sure. One, let me tell you something, George. Stop talking. We have multiple. <laughs> Wait, that was. Oh. Yeah. Hey, that was that was <laughs> nah, for you guys. Doing, yeah, you, you that know, wasn't like a hate shot. I don't need I don't yeah. need financial yeah, advice when I probably make more money. You. But also, it's kind of like really, are we not going to acknowledge that you got famous from doing the worst song ever? Like it's giving Deaf Noodles comedy show. Like this is the most successful thing ever. No, no, they thought they ate. Like they really thought, like oh look, our song is so good. But like they couldn't. Have you seen them? So anyway, back to the reason we're all gathered here today. So oh yeah. I think I was just subconsciously avoiding you bringing up the topic. Yeah, I know. But here we are. So basically, they were upset at the even mere mention that things would not work out and that they would have money issues. They were like, us? Never. Um, however, they started on Cameo. That was first. So they started on Cameo doing shout outs and then they would put out a bunch of like advertisements like, get a Cameo from us. Like, okay, no thanks. Hey man, we the Island Boys. Hey, we some Island Boys. Oh, we some Cameo Boys. Oh, we just trying to make it. Oh, we just trying to make it. We are some Island Boys. We are some Cameo. So book us right now, yeah. yeah. Honestly, that makes sense that they would make a lot of money from that just because yeah, people would do I it agree. as like stupid jokes. I agree. Like I would love to send you an Island Boys video. I don't think now that's as relevant. I think during the whole Island Boy thing, yeah, yeah. yes. But like now, who cares? Well, then a video surfaced. <laughs> I'm really debating on how much I could show. I don't want to see it. No, no, no. Well, no, I'm sure I'm going to show you everything, but I don't know how much we can show that. <laughs> to preface this again, this kind of surfaced in December of 2022. It's been brewing for yeah. five months. But people did, so you guys are going to start seeing the route this is going in. People did um, <laughs> notice that they had a very close bond and twins can be interesting you know twins are weird. very yeah twins can be weird like straight up have you seen those two girls that date the same guy like i mean the twins can be weird they had like a very close which whatever be close to your siblings maybe not this close i think i'll show this one to you guys but trigger warning if you're like under 18 i would say <sighs> I've never been so thankful for your internet connection to be shitty because it just skips through that entire thing. <laughs> for our listeners, non-viewers, um, what you just saw was a four-way kiss where the island boys are parallel from each other. So they're literally, no, parallel, perpendicular. Which one's in front? I feel like neither of those really apply. <laughs> okay, fair enough. They're basically face to face. And then there's two girls face to face and they make like a cross. They all go towards each other and the island boys basically start making out with each other and the girls are desperately trying to get in on the sides here let me rewind that yeah for i'm you. really I'm, no i'm really thankful i didn't i couldn't see no, any no, of don't it. worry i'll just rewind it for you ready go 
The funniest part is that it looks like maybe it's like a four way And then they reveal they take the hat away and it's like, oh wait, it's just the brothers. <laughs> Like, I know this is like, can we say the word incest? This is true. Like, this is incest, obviously. So it's like super fucked. Yeah, and like, usually I use that word um, not in its literal sense. Um, this is literally this incest. Case, absolutely. This is literal incest. So that's fucked. And obviously from these comments on this YouTube short, like people agreed, like they wished that they had never seen it. So I'm sorry to you guys as well. May we'll put a little trigger warning, right? Okay, maybe. Definitely. Well, it gets worse. Um, This part, we will blur out the parts that will get us banned from YouTube. One of the islands boys fly soldier to be exact uh started an only fans and yes whatever you're thinking yes 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 it did happen well okay they didn't have sex sexual relations with each other thanks to alex james for sending me these oh, which is a bunch of pictures that is posted on the fly soldier twitter page so this is him posting them of both of the island boys laying down with honestly what looks like their most recent like hairstyle so i feel like this is fairly recent but i'm not entirely sure let me look at the date on this tweet oh my god this was may 10th oh. so it's them grabbing their little wieners <laughs> Oh my god, one of the comments under it says I need to be double teamed by y'all. Get up, girly. Get up. Stand up. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just send you the links because this is ridiculous. So you can have it on your digital Great, footprint. Then Hold I'll just on. get served more Island Boy content on my free page. So yeah, this was extremely recent. I was under the impression that they had taken down their OnlyFans. I am now second guessing that they may have not. Um, that's one of the links. I have another one. Are you sending those to me? Oh, yep, I received it. Uh, I'm sending you all of them, sister. So it is their full, fully erect penises. That's the only way to describe to it. That. Laying next to each other it's covered by their undies but they're wearing tidy whities so you see the full outline of their girth gir you see the girth you see the length you know you see you see all of it you just see you see their peepees can you check I your phone I and was, send them all? I thought I just had to look later. Oh, no, no, no. You need to look now. Of course. Why would I want you to look later in your free time? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Their teeth. <laughs> their teeth. <laughs> oh, I know. They're just laying in bed <laughs> with their gleaming teeth <laughs> and their boners. This is really disturbing. I know we're laughing, but there is a deep, dark, incestuous, weird. There. This is very fucked. So bad that Alex literally tried to rationalize it in his head. And he's like, no, I think they're just friends that look like each other. I'm like, Alex, they're twins. <laughs> they shared a womb. Friends that look like each other? Literally, how is your family okay with this? And then there's a video, so let me hear what they say in this video. I mean, as you mentioned, I think their family probably is not okay with a lot of other things that have already happened, so maybe this was not, maybe they've already cut ties. I just saw a tweet answering their video that says, too bad none like this on that OnlyFans. So maybe they use this to bait people in, but they don't actually go further with each other. I feel like this is so weird to even be saying, but like they're clickbaiting incest. Eh, are they though? If I even knew that any of my brothers had ever been sexually aroused, I would throw up. Like, are you kidding me? I'm not saying it's like, oh, it's fine, it's cute, but it's like, they're not technically interacting. Maybe they're like se separately sexually aroused. <laughs> Lily, they're how much more interacting before it's just you're on each other? Like, look at this picture where they're out in the sun. Like their elbow is like near, <laughs> like touching them. I know, but I think that like technically that doesn't fall under incest because they aren't like engaging in sexual activity, but it's fucking weird. First of all, it's not just them grabbing their wieners. You have to know that they are erect wieners. So they both got them erect together. So it is incestuous. <laughs> That's why I said maybe they got separately aroused. I don't and be know. Like, okay, it's... buddy, I'm aroused. Let's meet up and take a pic. And they've made out. Do you need more evidence? <sighs> I'm not saying things are happening. I'm just saying these pictures don't like, and if you didn't know they made out, maybe, I don't know, it's weird, but I, I have no I'm other comments. so I don't disturbed. I are talking about this still. I love, <laughs> we can end it, um, but it was so, like when Alex told me that, I was like, no, you're 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 bullshitting. Like there's no way I guess, that's real. Honestly, even more creeped out than I am by them. I'm like, who's paying for this? Are you kidding me? Have you not seen the like, top search results on like porn sites are all about incest and like stepmom and all that shit. Like people love that shit. But like the island boys, that does it for you? Like <laughs> the ick is not even a good way to describe it. They, oh they need to be banned. One of them was arrested for domestic battery. I could see that. Yeah, absolutely. Used an open hand to slap his girlfriend on the right side <gasps> of her face, then pushed her into a shallow part of a pool where she hit her chin on Saturday. When was that? Not me missing May the like 9th. relevant news. When? 
May 9th. May 9th. They posted the boner picture the next day? And it was in, where is Pomp- Pompano Beach? Pompano Beach. Yeah, yeah, Pompano. yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Psychopaths. Yeah, so the deputy said during his investigation at the home where the couple was staying, he saw marks and bruises on the victim's chin. Fuck him. Which one was that? Fly Soja or, or Kodak Red? <laughs> it just says one of the island boys. <laughs> just, they're like one of them we just can't be sure <laughs> oh here wait no it says uh, i i don't mean that that's not a funny article but i just know that the news that they're so worried. irrelevant that they don't even know which one it is it was frankie whoever that one is frankie oh yeah frankie yeah um, frankie whatever whichever one that is okay um well i i'm sorry <laughs> I'm just sorry. I mean, how was I not going to share that? When I found that out, I'm like, listen, if I got to see that, bitches, you got to see that too. Especially you, Lily. I'm like, absolutely not. I am genuine. Like, I actually feel bad that I put you guys through that. But you know what? Sorry. (laughs) I don't know what. There was no lesson. No, nothing to learn from it. Just uh, sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you have a wonderful week. It is Monday when you're watching. I was like, what day is it? I have no idea. I know. I had to think about it. But I do hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you so much if you made it to the end. Subscribe if you haven't. Listen to us on all the podcast platforms if you'd like. And we'll see you for episode 50. Oh my God. What are we going to do? Probably nothing. (laughs) I was going to say bye cake, but you know we won't. Thank you guys so much. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.